This week, we highlight another life well lived. In 1970, a qualified young woman named Judy Human applied to be a school teacher in New York City. She met the professional requirements, but was denied the position because of her disability. That rejection prompted a lawsuit and a lifetime of activism that truly changed the world. Human sued the New York City Board of Education, which had argued her wheelchair would prevent her from evacuating students in the case of an emergency. The city reconsidered its decision, and Human became an elementary school teacher in her native Brooklyn. Human was less than two years old when a case of polio during the 1949 epidemic left her paralyzed. Deemed a fire hazard, she was kept out of school for many years, instead learning at home from her German immigrant parents, who ran a butcher's shop in New York after fleeing the Holocaust that orphaned them. Human went on to become a lifelong advocate for the disabled, fighting for the 1973 Rehabilitation Act that banned discrimination and leading the famous 1977 Section 504 sit-in of a federal building in San Francisco that prompted the new Carter administration to implement those rights. We want the law enforced. We want no more segregation. And I would appreciate it if you would stop shaking your head in agreement when I don't think you understand what we are talking about. All of it laying the groundwork for the landmark Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990. Human later served in both the Clinton administration and the Obama State Department, along with a number of nonprofit organizations, always fighting to remove barriers for disabled people around the world. Judy Human, known as the mother of the disability rights movement, died last weekend in Washington. She was 75 years old. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.